And we're back with WSJ Lunch Break. I'm Wendy Bounds. Now, what will the biggest stars from Anne Hathaway to Jennifer Lawrence wear at Sunday's Oscars? Whatever they choose, it will be highly scrutinized, that is for sure. Now, here to forecast their looks is a woman who has styled everyone from Kate Middleton to Charlize Theron, fashion expert Nikki Penny. And she is joining us from Los Angeles right now. Welcome to the Lunch Break. Thanks, thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure. It's lovely to be with you this morning. Great. So, uh, if people always wonder, you know, how do these dresses get chosen, Nikki? I mean, do they... How far in advance do the actresses typically know who they'll wear and when? Do they have multiple dresses, multiple designers they're choosing from? Yes. I mean, people, everyone has a stylist, um, like myself, and they start looking for dresses literally weeks, even, you know, months in advance. People get an idea because they know when the nominations start coming and they start to think about what they want to wear, it's the first thing they think about. But it's literally, like this week is totally insane for everyone in the fashion industry with celebrity, but it's such a big thing. It's almost the second biggest thing to w will they win the Oscar, it's what are they going to wear. What are they going to wear, and they will be scrutinized the day after. I want to have you walk through some of the uh, the, the, the actresses we're going to be seeing on the red carpet. Jessica Chastain, of course, she was in Zero Dark Thirty. Who would you like to see her wear? Well, Jessica's an interesting one because she has such a fabulous womanly physique, and I love her dress choices so far because she picks things that are very old Hollywood, just very elegant, but um, and kind of quite simple, but the structure of the dress is everything. And she picks kind of designers that are not, you know, she went for Calvin Klein for the Globes, then she went for Rolla Moray for the BAFTAs, um, you know, 10 days ago, and then for the SAG Awards, she went for McQueen. So she picks quite edgy designers, but um, the shapes of the dresses are just so divine, and she picks pops of colour. Like, if you notice um, the colors she wears, they're all very bold colors. And I feel as if the colors she chooses makes the dress. All right. And now what about Jennifer Lawrence? Now, she's nominated for Silver Linings Playbook. How would you, how would you outfit her if you were her stylist? Well, Jennifer's an interesting one because she's such a young, gorgeous starlet. And she is one of my favorite actresses. But obviously, she always picks Dior. Um, because she has a contract with Dior and she'll be wearing Dior on Sunday. Um, but the dress she wore to the Golden Globes was kind of quite old school Hollywood in the shape. But what Dior had done, had they, they tried to make it slightly edgy with the way it fitted on the top. Um, but then she picked something very classic and elegant for um, the SAG Awards and for the BAFTAs. So I think she's just going for something quite classic, but still remaining young and youthful. But she's definitely um, keeping it very um, safe. <laughs> and, what, and what about Anne Hathaway, who we'll see on the red carpet for Les Mis? If you had your druthers, if you could pick, what would you put her in? Well, Anne Hathaway is my favorite and definitely my best dress because I think that what she's doing very cleverly is she's picking things that are timeless. So she'll look back in 10 years and she won't think, my God, what was I wearing? But they're still just really cool and elegant and classic. And she's, you know, picking designers from John Battista Viali to Chanel. So she's definitely mixing it up. But she's, what she's doing is she's using a lot of embellishments. Um, she's being quite fashion forward with the fabrics, but the shapes are still quite classic. And I love that for the Golden Globe, she wore the Chanel beautiful kind of ivory number that was actually more like a skirt and top. So it was kind of it was kind of interesting. And I think that I'm very excited to see what she will wear on Sunday because she seems to be taking the most fashion risks.